Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever time this reach you, I greet you. Welcome to another episode of A Day With EJ. Let me show you my little baby. You see my little baby? Oh, she's so pretty. Look at her. She's so pretty. And she's sleepy from hanging out with me. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about one more time, man. You get to see daddy and mother. Now, with that being said, I'm trying to get in the habit of posting content daily. And with me doing said activity, it just be kind of hard to come up with topics and things that I want to talk about and that nature. So I've been kind of asking my audience what they want to hear. And a lady said a very interesting thing to me. She said, tell us what EJ do for you. Ah, oh, man, I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you, my story so long, I don't really want to get into it in one episode. So I'm going to just break that into pieces. If you got questions about my previous life before being a fur parent, I'll tell you about it. And it's not a good story. It's a long story. It's filled with a whole bunch of nonsense and negativity. But that's my story. I don't have no problem saying it. I don't have no problem admitting it because I am where I am in life because of my mother. And that's where EJ come in. On the front end, EJ ain't nothing but a fur baby that gets spoiled to death. But on the back end, it's a more meaningful meaning to her being around me. Every time I call her name, every time I look at her, it reminds me of the promise that I made my mama to stay out of trouble, to stay out of the street life, to stop selling drugs and scamming and being a part of all of the nonsense and negativity that I have become accustomed to growing up in the city of St. Louis misery. Yeah, I call it misery. I don't really care how you take it. If you got a problem with it, that's on you. But being that I grew up here, man, it's misery. And you already know the rest of the same. It love company. But EJ does something for me that nobody else can she remind me on a daily basis that I have to keep pushing, that I have to keep going no matter what I want to do because I gave my mama my word I would. She my reminder, not just daily, but every second of the day, it's a reminder to me that I gotta keep going. It's a reminder to me that I gotta post content. It's a reminder to me that I have to write. It's a reminder to me that I have to record music. It's a reminder to me of everything else that I might need to be doing while I'm doing it. Make puzzles, do shirts, make face masks, sell socks. Anything that I might need to do to stay out of trouble, that's what she remind me of. That's what she do for me. She my reminder. That's what I call it. Like my little fur baby keep me together because her name says it all. She get treated the way that she gets treated because she named after my mother. Long live Edna Jean. And I'm going to spoil her to death. I swear for the Lord if you let me tell it. Like, in a way that you would never understand. Look at that little mama. Right? You just don't understand. But other than that, she serves a couple other purposes. Not only being my ESA animal that I take everywhere that I go, if she ain't invited, I ain't coming, don't ask me, right? If there are no animals allowed in your residence, don't invite me, I ain't coming, right? If you don't like animals, don't invite me, I ain't coming. Don't talk to me, I'm not gonna talk to you back. Don't bother me, I'm not gonna bother you back. I don't speak on politics, I don't speak on sports, I don't speak on religion, and I definitely don't speak on race. It's a reason for it, I tell y'all tomorrow. If you tune in, I tell y'all why I do not delve off into those type of topics. Not want to argue with you is one of them. But I got a whole bunch of other reasons. I put y'all up on that while, you know, when I get the chance to. But besides that, she serves another purpose. She my model. She my mother, right? She the first lady of Fresh Out ENT. The first lady that always want to be around me and never want me to leave her side. Whew. I've been begging and pleading for that my whole life. And I finally got it. I got it in the animal. And I take it. You ever heard the saying of people saying things like, I take my dog over a person. I completely understand where they coming from. 
I would take the dog over a person almost nine times out of ten. That that one time, it depends on the person. But nine times out of ten, give me the fur baby, I'll take that. She mean more to me. I promised my mama that I would do everything within my power to make sure that her name stayed alive. That was in 2017. It's 2022. That should tell you that I am continuing to push forward, even when I don't feel like it. I be depressed six out of seven days a week, but you would never know it by the things that I accomplished, the push that I make on a regular basis. And that comes from my upbringing. My mama never settled. She never thought good was good enough. And I didn't understand it as a kid coming up, but as an adult, I completely understand it. It was to break me from my depression. Even if I'm depressed, I have to be productive. Even if I'm depressed, I got to go to work. Even if I'm depressed, I got to feed EJ. Even if I'm depressed, I got to run my little baby because she need that on a daily basis. And that reminder, is enough for me to continue doing what I am supposed to be doing while I'm supposed to be doing it. But let's just look at it, because I'm finna Look at my little mama down there sleeping, and sleeping good. I swear for the Lord she is. I don't even be understanding how this lady like sleep this good. I wanna sleep that good. Telling y'all what she do for me, more than you will ever know. I could wanna give up right now. I could look at her and I'm ready to go talking about I ain't ready to go I'm gonna do my thing because I can't disappoint her cough and I'm gonna do everything in my power not to I've been involved in so many situations I've been in so many bad relationships this is the first time I've never been in a relationship with anything that was mine and mine only I didn't have to share it with nobody if I didn't want to or nothing Whew, that's a feeling you got to keep in mind that I ain't got no kids. I want some, but I don't have any. And the more I try, the more I'm starting to see that I, it just might be in the cause for me to be a one-on-one. -on -one. That's so depressing. Just saying it out loud, forgive me. I want some kids. I'm talking about it in such a way. I want to tell my son or my daughter to go change that channel. Though I got the remote control, if you get what I'm saying. I don't, you know, that's one of the things that made me really want kids. The way my mama treated me, the way my grandmother treated me, the way my grandfather treated me. And EJ ain't got no thumbs. Can you imagine having a best friend that don't have no thumbs? She do all kind of stuff for me, but she can't let herself out. That is so irky. Right. I can't send her in the kitchen and go get me nothing out the refrigerator because she can't open the door. I got a broke best friend with no thumbs. That's depressing all in itself now that I think about it. Edna Jean, lady, lady, you straight ain't got no thumbs. I need you to have some thumbs so I can use you like I need to you. We'll talk about it later. Let's not even discuss that right now. I hope that answers your question. Like, what she do for me? She keep me company. She make it where my multiple personalities always have somebody around them to deal with. I always got somebody I can talk to. I always got somebody to comfort me when I needed to be comforted. It's like she know when I'm down and depressed, she want to play with me. She know when there's something wrong with me, she want to be up under me. She want me to love on her just so I can start to feel better. And that is a feeling that money came back. I'm going to tell y'all the story on how I got EJ on my birthday. I promise. I'm talking about it. It should probably be my most viewed video. But I got to tell you. For anybody else that's watching me, please subscribe to the YouTube. Please subscribe. Please follow the Instagram. If you follow my TikTok, I appreciate you. I got a Facebook page, but I don't really be on it like that. And when I do, I am being extremely naughty. You don't want to be a part of that. But if you do, let me know. I'll put it in the caption of one of my videos so you can find it easily. Other than that, I ain't going to hold y'all up. This been a few minutes with me and EJ. It's a day with EJ. I hope you get the title, A Day with EJ. Because that's what I am. I am a day with EJ. 
and I love her to death. Clothes, shoes, diapers, nail trims, and all of that. She going to get all of that from me because my mother wouldn't expect anything less of me. And I don't never want to let her down. Now, I'm not going to hold y'all up too much longer, but like I said, people been wanting me to drop more content and give more information about myself. So I am. What EJ do for me? I just told you. Check the video out. You want to know anything else? Leave it in the comments. And I promise you that I will do my best to get around to it. Now, y'all know how these videos usually end. Fade the black. Good day. Hey, now. Oh, EJ, you want to say something before I go? No? <laughs> Sleep as usual. Er, I'll let give y'all a quick little look at her before I get it out of here. She sleep as usual.